Hello, I am Victor Paredes and I want to show you the new option to create 360 degrees smartphones. But before showing you that, I want to show you how normal smartphones work in this situation and what is the difference with the new one. So usually if you have a setup like this, I have this arm and if I try to rotate this arm, you can see that there is some point in which the elbow is not working anymore for both sides. So the way we solve this usually is we create a smartphone for that. So we can go to window, open the actions window, select the forearm, create a new action for it. And now inside of this action, I can tell the software every time this bone rotates in this direction, I want the points of the arm, which I have here to move like this. So I can simply edit the points in any way I want. So let's say something like that. And I can get fancier than this, like distort more the 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 in-betweens and, and create some, I don't know, move the muscle or anything like that. But let, let's just do that for now, okay? And then for the other side of the rotation, you have to create a second smart bone. So I'm going to select this bone again, create a second action. And in this second action, I can tell the software every time this bone rotates to the other side, I want these these points to move like this okay so let's say this is what i want all right again i could i could fix some of the in-betweens change the curvature the line with anything but this is the basic concept okay now if i go back to the main line the problem i have with this idea is that i can rotate the bone to one side or to the other side and it works well but if I rotate beyond the angle I defined, my arm breaks, okay? Because I'm rotating way after the angle I defined. So now the arm is not working anymore. And the same happens to the other side. So now it's working, it's working up to here, but once I pass that angle, now this is not really working anymore, okay? And this is when the new 360 smart bones come uh, handy. So let me just remove these actions I just created and I'm going to fix this, but using the 360 smart bones. So again, I'm going to create a smart bone for this bone, but now I'm going to frame 96 or any, any other frame you want. In this case, I like to use 96 and I'm going to rotate this arm in one direction. Let's say I'm going to rotate it here, but I'm going to hold shift to keep the rotation uh, attached to some angles. And you can see here that uh, there is a new option when, when you press uh, shift that makes the, the bone to end in the same angle as before or to rotate a full 360 degree angle, okay? So now I'm sure that frame zero and frame 96, they look the same, but I rotated the bone in 360 degrees, okay? It is very important for these bones, this kind of smart bone to work, to rotate them in 360 degrees. If you have less or more than 360, then Moho won't recognize this as a 360 smart bone, okay? So let me just do it again. Before rotating the arm, just go to the frame you want, hold shift, and then rotate the arm, so that way you are sure you are rotating it exactly in 360, okay? Now, I'm going to start adjusting the points now. So I'm going to select the layer of the arm. And now I can go, let's say to this position, I'm going to fix the elbow a little bit. I got that. And maybe here I need the elbow to go down like that. Okay, this is not perfect, but it's just so you get an idea of what you can do. And now maybe I'm going to move this. Actually, I'm going to move this here. I'm not sure how to, well, how to solve this particular angle. Maybe the, the elbow should go here actually like that. Okay. I'm not doing anything too fancy as you can see, but the idea is that you, you get the concept. And then the important part about this is that the final frame, which is on frame 96, it needs to be exactly the same as frame zero. Okay. So to be sure about that, I'm going to select the keyframes on frame zero and I'm going to copy and paste them on frame 96, okay? So that way I am sure that the beginning and the end 
of this 360 rotation is the same okay so we have this we we can get fancier than that you can again you can add some muscle or maybe your elbow is less round so there will there will be some spikes coming from it or stuff like that you can you can play with that of course like in moho we we love when the 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 elbows are not a simple circle you know because human elbows or any animal elbow they are not simple circles so you can play with that but let's say we are happy with this we can get fancier actually for this particular setup i have a switch layer here for the hand so maybe at this point i want the hand to show the back and maybe at this point it is going to show the front again and i have this you see maybe the front should appear a bit sooner there okay again the important part is whatever i animate the position the hand had on frame zero should be the same it has on frame 96 because i want to complete the full circle there okay so now i am happy with this i can go back to the main line and now i can rotate this bone as many times as I want in both directions and it will always work okay so I don't have this breaking anymore okay <clears throat> this is how you you can play with uh, with 360 degrees bones for arms or for any other part of the body but you can you can get uh, more creative you can be more creative about this so for instance here uh, we have this bone uh, it's called B24, not, not a very creative name, but anyway, that, that's the name. And this is a 360 degrees smart bone. But what this is special about this is that instead of moving any part, what this is, what is inside of this smart bone is actually a walk cycle. So you see this bone rotates in 360 degrees. And while it is rotating, the character is actually walking here because that entire walk cycle is moving. This character was created by Luna Vargas, by the way, a Chilean artist. So I can go back to the main line here. And the nice part about this is that I can rotate this moon and I can control the walk cycle and I can control the speed of the walk cycle. So if, if I want it to go faster, I can rotate it more or slower and I can rotate it less, or if I want to go backwards, I can do that too. So you have a control of the speed of a walk cycle now. So you can even, let's say, this is going to start here, and then walk a little bit here. Okay, I have this animation and I can go to the graph mode. I have this bone selected, so I'm going to show the angle of this bone and I can play with the speed here. I'm going to set this to Bezier. And maybe I want some easy in, is out here. You see? So you can control the speed of that. So then you can continue adding keyframes if you want. So it's going to walk faster or slower accordingly to what you add. Of course, the, the character is not prepared to walk that fast, especially the dynamic bones. But but you can see how, how this works. So this is one extra use of the 360 degrees uh, smart bones, but I'm very sure you can find other uses. And I, I really want to be surprised about, uh, about what you can create with it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.